Svenska Elektrod is basically a distributor of welding products. It's been around if, since 1981, um, selling basically welding electrodes, hence the name Svenska Elektrod. Now, uh, today, 42 years later, it's, it's quite a different company. Uh, it's a uh, welding distributor on one hand, but then what we're here to talk about today is our automation business, and that's SE Automation, Svenska Elektrod Automation. Uh, we are a distributor and an integrator uh, of collaborative robot solutions. So it's uh, both the cobot arms that are from Universal Robots. So we're a certified system integrator uh, with Universal Robots. And then we're also a distributor and integrator for Mir, Mobile Industrial Robots, uh, who produces and develops the AMRs. So the sister company also uh, owned by Teradyne. CNC machine tending means that we're essentially doing something that a person would do with a uh, computer controlled machine. So it can be a lathe, it can be some sort of grinding machine, uh, milling machine uh, that is controlled via computer. And essentially, at least in my respect, if someone invests in, in a computer controlled machine and then have a person standing and putting in parts and taking them out. It's just a sub-productive manner because you're essentially taking an automated process but making it manual. Um, so the CNC machine tending then is to put a robot in front of the CNC machine instead and actually put in parts and unload parts to make sure that we can run this CNC machine 24-7. In terms of the industry we're talking about, Sweden is a large country with a lot of industry and not a lot of big industry, but what we in general call SMEs, the small and medium enterprises, those are the customers that we have. So it can be machining shops, small Lego manufacturers. Um, so we do have the big ones like Scania, like Volvo, like GKN, all of these is big but in general uh, our target customer for the CNC machine tending applications are typically the ones between you know four employees and 20 that's that's our key here and and for them this to automate the CNC machine intending processes are very very essential because they can't find uh, their workforce and, and the skilled workers that they need today to do their uh, machine tending for them So one of them being that all manufacturers of CNC machines have different interfaces, uh, meaning that if you have a Haas or if you have an Okuma or, or a Kitamura machine, all have different interfaces, meaning that if a customer wants to do it themselves, they'll really need to be specialists in, in how these different CNC interfaces work. Uh, and, and this is, of course, a little bit uh, scary for the end customer. But also, if you want to implement your cobot in a one uh, machine and then you want to try it on another machine, then it makes the, the setup a lot difficult because it's, it's going to be different setups with different machines. We have partnered up with Flexbotics to help both the end customer and ourselves to do the integrating of CNC machines swiftly. Um, using the Flex CNC interface, we can use the same programming and the same interface with many different machine types. Um, this just lowers the, the um, 
boundaries uh, enormously to do this kind of integration for both end customers themselves, but also for us as integrators. We don't need to consider too much about, okay, what is the interface? How does that work? We can we can talk to the guys at Flexbotics and they'll help us out uh, to, to um, configure the middleware, as we call it, uh, to be working with the CNC machine that we are uh, integrating at the moment. So, so the beauty of the Flex CNC, uh, for one, it's doing the integration process very simple because you can you can have machine um, presets that then uh, tap into the specific machine's uh, interfacing language. But the other thing is that the operator, when he's uh, doing a program, it looks the same no matter which which CNC interface language you're using. So it's really easy for the operator to, to do this. And that's that's the beauty of the whole system. So basically, I'm, I, we, we haven't been in the automation industry for so long. We've been in heavy industry for a long time and we've seen, you know, arc welding with industrial robots uh, that's been around for ages. And especially in Sweden, where we have quite a lot of uh, automotive manufacturers, etc., which have for a long time automated their welding processes. But the interesting thing is that we have seen so many CNC multiple axis machines being sold all over Sweden, uh, but there are so few of them that are actually machine tended with a robot. Most of them are done uh, with hands on the floor. And, and I can't see a future in Sweden where this is gonna be everyday life because we cannot find skilled workers and the industrial educations that are available in Sweden don't have enough uh, applicants, they don't have enough uh, teachers, they don't have enough students, meaning that the skilled workers in, well, right now it's, it's in high demand and very low supply. In terms of trying to get Sweden up and running in a more automated way, the only way forward is to automate machine tending. And for the bigger ones, yeah, sure, you'll have one robot in front of every uh, CNC machine. But for the smaller companies, the only way to start is to have a flexible setup where you can have flex CNC and flex reference, for example, to have then very, very easy, flexible deployment and to make sure that they can use one robot with basically all of their CNC machines where it's needed on that day. Um, so. I would say that CNC machine tending in Sweden in specifics and in, in Scandinavia in general will, will have a huge future 2023 and going forward.